Skull and Bones is the symbol that represents a branch of Freemasonry known as the Order of Death or Pirates of the World. Two Pillars is the symbol of the Greek god Osiris and Isis, representing the sun as a deity. The triangle, capstone, all-seeing eye, triangle with shafts of light all represent Lucifer. The illumined G symbol stands for Gnostic. The Gnostics were pagan sun worshippers. It also symbolizes man's ascension to godhood through illumination granted by Lucifer. This symbol also represents the word God, but their God is not my God, as I do not worship God's creations. A circle symbolizes the path of the sun and the sun itself. The square and compass are the tools of a God and also symbolize the transformation of man to God using Lucifer's knowledge, as well as, as above, so below, and the apotheosis of man. A cross symbolizes the light of the morning star. The morning star is also known as Lucifer. The number 33 symbolizes one of the degrees with Freemasons, the reference in the Bible of one third of angels who fell from heaven, and when it is listed in an article, it symbolizes the act is a part of the plan to usher in the New World Order, also known as One World Totalitarian Socialist Government. The Star of David, or Six-Pointed Star, symbolizes duality, as above, so below, the square and compass, and the apotheosis of man. This symbol also represents 666. Two Snakes refers to Typhon, the sower of discord and pitting of factions against another. The pentagram, or pentacle, symbolizes the face of Satan, Lucifer, Baal, Apollo, the sun deity, and any other names that are given to the beast. The scimitar and crescent refers to Aladdin and the Assassin's Guild from Persia called the Assassins, who eventually became the Knights Templar. It symbolizes assassinations and secret plots. The cross and crown represent the Knights Templar. The double-headed bird symbolizes ruling the East and the West. Freemasons share many things with Egyptian occult. They use symbols to communicate. They worship the sun as well as Osiris's phallus. They like pyramids and seeing themselves as gods to the profane. All presidents are and were Freemasons. All presidents are related to each other and are of the same bloodline. The presidential bloodline is part of the royal family bloodline. Donald Trump is of the same bloodline as Obama, Hillary, Bill, and the Bush family. Winston Churchill was a Freemason and a member of the royal family. Adolf Hitler was a sun worshiper. Freemasons are sun worshippers. Freemasons and sun worshippers communicate through symbology to hide their religion. Freemasons worshipping the sun is fact. Read Morals and Dogma by Albert Pike. Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, Beyonce, Celine Dion, Ellen DeGeneres are all members of the royal family. The American dollar was designed by Freemasons. The people who invented fiat money were in the royal family and connected to the mystery schools. Freemasonry, Gnostics, Knights of Malta, Knights of Templar, all worship the sun. NASA is a Freemasonic sun-worshipping cult. The FBI, CIA, and KKK were created by Freemasons. Freemasons are racist. Freemasons also see non-Freemasons as the profane. The profane are those that were not initiated or illumined. Freemason-ruled government dictates what is taught in schools. They made us what we are. All churches teach false doctrine, as only sun worshippers worship on Sunday. Many churches have graven images, twist the teachings, support sun and satanic symbology. 
Freemasons have written our history for us and teach us the history that they want us to know. The Rothschilds are of the royal family bloodline. They own all the banks and pharmaceutical industries. Many big name musical groups have military parents. The military has been infested with Freemasons, especially at the highest ranks. Many musicians and celebrities are the offspring of military officials. Jessica Alba, Christina Aguilera, Bruce Willis, Jim Morrison, David Bowie, the list is overwhelming. Sun worship symbology is in nearly every popular movie, satanic symbolism in movies, music, and cartoons as well. It is all around us. If you haven't seen it, you weren't looking. Many truth seekers, including myself, thought that the Talmudic Jews, the Ashkenazim, were the puppet masters on earth. The Kabbalah is sun worship, just as Freemasonry is sun worship, just like the Persians, Greeks, Romans, Egyptians, the royal bloodline, and the Illuminati, to name a few. Who put the hidden messages in everything? Who created the FBI and CIA? Who put occult Masonic symbols on your money? Freemasons. Who owns all the media we consume? Who owns all the banks? The royal bloodlines and the Kabbalah Jews. Who owns the government? The royal bloodline. Don't get me wrong, the Talmudic Kabbalah Jew is sick and vile, but they are just a fraction of the sun worshippers that are active today. The people who are controlling us are all working towards a new world order, all have a few things in common. One, they belong to the mystery schools. Two, they are connected to or are Freemasons. Three, they are descendants of the same bloodline. Four, they are all sun worshippers. Five, they think that Lucifer is God. Many people think that the run of the mill Jew is a Luciferian sun worshipper. This is not true. The standard Jew reads and follows the Old Testament, also known as the Torah. They do worship God. Unfortunately, they did not get salvation through Jesus, but at least they do believe in God, our Father. The people that are devout sun worshippers all belong to secret clubs where they can worship the sun and Lucifer, because if we knew, they would know that we would revolt, especially due to the positions that they hold. If you doubt anything that I say to you in this video, I encourage you to do your own research and to prove me that I'm wrong. This video is in response to everyone that blames Jews for all the world's problems. It is more complicated than that if you do your research. If you've discovered any symbology, any meanings to symbols, or if you've discovered that I've made a mistake, please let me know in the comments. To paraphrase William Cooper, I don't care what beliefs you have, unless those beliefs are to bring in a totalitarian one world system that strips us of our god-given rights unless your beliefs are to deceive us all unless your beliefs make you think that you are gods this is frank barrow good night and may our father bless you all